Welcome to Oregon Hot Rod! Welcome to the Oregon Hot Rod Experience, where we're going to share information with you. We're going to show you our successes and our failures, our mistakes and our solutions. We'll go on adventures, we are build cars, we'll do shop projects, and we'll do a whole bunch more. But most of all, we're going to entertain you with reality and stupidity. So subscribe now and continue to watch your Hot Rod Experience. button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. Okay, so we got our chain made. Make the chain, I just simply took a piece out of the, uh, the uh, garage door opener chain. And uh, to do that, I used a, a chain breaker. I don't know if anybody's ever, if you haven't used a chain breaker, this is what it looks like. It's just a simple little tool. You can pick it up at the bicycle shop, whatever. Uh, and basically, all you do is you just set your chain in there, and, uh, and then you just screw it in. And what it does, it pushes out these little pins that's in the chain that hold the chain together here. And you just push it, just push them right on out and uh, it breaks the chain apart. So you can see here how it did the, the chain. Okay, hopefully you can see it anyway. Uh, the other thing you'll need is your uh, your removable link, which is uh, a link that you can find in the chain. If you look, I had a hard time finding it here because these are real, they, they're kind of tricky to find. You gotta find the right side. If you look on the wrong side of the chain, you won't see them. But basically, it's a, a link that comes apart here. Uh, the one side comes on, and then you have this little clip. And this is how you find them, is you find that little clip somewhere on the chain. And uh, that just slips on the chain here. This, this has grooves in it, so this here will slip in. And then you just pop it together, and that's what holds the chain together. So don't forget that that's an important part because otherwise you will be in trouble trying to put this all together so this just goes into the chain bring the other side around slip the locking link over there this into the grooves it's not easy to do with these gloves on so put it in there and just push it all together there we go and there you have it chain link installed you see it right there so Anywho, now I'm ready to set this all onto the, the uh, bead roller. So we're going to get this over here. So now I can kind of get an idea of what I've got going on here. get this adjusted where I want it. I've got some blocks in here but I think I got it up too high. Uh, 
and drop her down a little bit here. Now the other thing to do this, you'll have to remember, is you're going to have to trim out uh, a section of this uh, guard on here. At least I did on mine. Uh, the chain was hitting against this part right in here. And so I actually cut out a section here. These here are the pieces that I cut out. It was in here. Uh, that were uh, interfering with the chain. So I clipped them out, made the opening a little bit larger so that I could uh, get in here and, and move this around. So. so that's about where I'm going to wind up being at with this thing. It's setting really good right there. Uh, So I'm excited to see if this thing works. So I'm going to tell, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a trial uh, spin on this just to see. And there's two reasons why I'm doing this. Is one is because I'm excited to see it work. The second is to uh, actually see what the speed of it is because that's kind of important. Uh, I'm kind of guessing here with the speed on this sprocket. Now this sprocket here uh, is like a, uh, was it 42, 48 tooth, something like that, 44. Uh, it's over 40 teeth. And so the smaller one here was uh, about 30. Uh, two or something like that. So it was uh, it was far less than what I, I uh, really wanted it. So let's see what we got here. Oh, gee, many Christmas that works pretty damn good. Perfect. Perfect. Damn, that was a good guess. Anyway, uh, I think I'm happy with that. Go and cut my uh, angle iron now. Start getting set up to where I can uh, weld this on, drill it, weld it, and get it ready to set this motor on. Uh, gonna have to grab my other piece. I'll cut it. Cut that too. Uh, my piece from the deal. I think this is gonna. This will be a, a very interesting. Uh, I like the way it's turning out. Okay, uh, I'll be back with you as soon as I get these other parts cut, and we'll get them. Uh, uh, ready to go and uh, get them welded on here. Now one thing I can see in putting this on is that the angle on this uh, bottom piece here is tilted back, right? So if I put, when I put this angle iron on here, what I'm probably going to have to do, since that's a perfect 90, is I may have to take a, a hammer, put this in the vise, and I'm going to have to bend this back just enough to get this uh, level uh, with the, uh, uh, the motor. And then uh, and that, should, that should work pretty good. And so, anyway, uh, we will be back shortly. Okay, so we got our, our pieces pretty well cut here. Now I'm just kind of mocking things up. 
Uh, this piece here, this is from the uh, the the rail that came off the uh, garage door opener, and it actually bolts onto the back of the uh, garage door opener here. But uh, I cut an eight-inch piece here, so I could I could put it all in here. This here kind of stabilizes all this stuff in this area here. However, the eight-inch piece is a little bit long and so uh, I want to uh, notch it out here because I do want to keep it about the same length it is. I think I'm going to use this little uh, L bracket here to put onto the the, uh, the engine stand and uh, to hold this bracket into place. But So I'm going to have I have to notch it out here, I've already cut this part here. I need to cut down through here. And, and then I'll kind of clean everything up here. And uh, bolt this thing all back together. So, uh, and then we've got the bottom piece here already cut. This here will go underneath here. And uh, this will get welded onto the, the deal. The, the motor will actually sit on this. This will be the mount for the motor. This will be the stabilizing piece here to keep it from wobbling back and forth. So, uh, I'll be back with you here shortly. I'm going to clip this all out of here, clean it up, grind it down, make it all pretty, and uh, get it bolted to the motor. And uh, then go from there and start figuring out where I need to put everything. Okay, so we got this thing all uh, figured out here. So I took that little piece of angle iron I had here and uh, I drilled it out. Now the the piece that I cut off of the uh, the arm off the uh, uh, garage door opener. Uh, it had one of these here T-bars that was uh, on, the, on the end of the motor here that it came off in the chain and ran around that and stuff. So but I just cut off like eight and a half inches or whatever it was here. And there was actually one hole already drilled in here. And so I just cut past the, the hole that was already in here. And uh, I decided I would take this piece of, of uh, angle here I believe this is like one and a half by two. And uh, I just, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld it right on here. Uh, the bolts clear the, this sprocket just fine. And uh, then the motor, this here will bolt to the motor. And then this here will just set right in here. And that will bolt it all together. And that will stabilize the top end up here. So, let's see what's going on here. Bringing outside, making a bunch of noise. So, you hear about a bunch of background noise. It's uh, raining here in Oregon today. So, of course, that's not unusual in this part of the country. That's why we have the Oregon Ducks. Ducks love it in Oregon. So, yeah. Let's see what's going on here. This piece slides into here. There's a little slot there. It comes in. These two bolts go up there. That keeps all this here stable. So then when I put it up here, once I weld it onto here, that'll stabilize this top part here and keep it from moving back and forth. 
Now the other thing I noticed, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't notice it until I started kind of putting everything together here, mocking it up, is that the rollers set to one side of center on this, the way I've got it set up. Now I kind of, I put the angle iron to the, to the right side of my uh, 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 engine stand here, the angle that I put in here, so it mounted to the to the uh, right. However, with the gears being on the left, I had to offset the motor over to the left too, so that I would have a, a direct drive right between the, the a straight line between the, the uh, gear pulley here and the pulley on the uh, uh, garage door opener. So uh, I started at first putting everything centered, but then that doesn't center it. So I wanted to keep the, the gears in line with each other. That way there's no stress on the chain in one direction or the other. It, it has the same amount of uh, pull either direction it does. So anyway, uh, I'm calling it an evening for the for today. Uh, it's New Year's Eve, so I'm gonna go out and uh, uh, drink a couple cups of coffee and go to bed about 10 o'clock. So anyway, uh, have a great evening. Happy New Year to y'all, and uh, hope it's a great one for 2020. So we'll be back at her after the first of the year here. Uh, finish this thing up, get everything welded up, put in my lower bracket. Uh, which is the, the angle iron here I've got. That'll go in down below. Uh, that'll get drilled for the bolts to go in down there. But first, here's another little trick I want to show you. This here's from my old carpenter days. Uh, you know, to get this chain aligned straight, I'm just going to use this, uh, this uh, chalk line here or you can use just a straight line with a weight on it, whatever you want, so that everything lines up, because the, the, like I said, the engine stand comes back at an angle to, to carry the weight. So, but you want everything to be in line with each other. So, it's, it's imperative that you get this chain straight so it doesn't wear weird or, or do anything like that. So, that'll be a, next part of the process that I do here to get everything all put together. So anyway, uh, have a great evening. Let's see you in the new year. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, Say hi. everybody. Say anyway. Keep watching, learn a couple of things, watch us tear some shit up, or stuff up, excuse me, and, uh, smash that like button and subscribe now. Yeah, subscribe now. LikeOregonHotRod.com Bitch. I don't know what has happened because they still <laughs>